Hey guys, Aquaman. Today I have my fourth, um, and I believe I think final, uh, subscription box unboxing for the month of July. Um, this is obviously Loot Crate. I haven't gotten them, I think, since, let's see, May? I, I believe it's it was May. I'm pretty sure it was May. Um, the, the, uh, the theme this month was, I think, futuristic. It had, um, fandoms like Mega Man, I believe Rick and Morty, um, uh, Futurama, obviously, and a whole, I think a couple others. Um, I figured I'd resubscribe just because I needed another T-shirt, and you know you always get a T-shirt with the Loot Crate, Loot Crate now. So I need another T-shirt, and uh, I needed something else to uh, to uh, unbox for you guys. So. Um, I haven't heard any spoilers for this, for either this or the Smuggler's Bounty, which I just unboxed for you guys. Um, so I was, I was pleasantly surprised with the, um, the Smuggler's Bounty this month. I enjoyed some of those items, and uh, hopefully I'm uh, surprised with this one. I haven't heard anything from this. I haven't heard if it's good or bad or anything like that. So let's just jump right in and so see what we get. the first item this month, I'm going to pull it out right now. Uh, go for a small one. Let's see what we get. So we got a Mega Man figure. It's like a blind box thing, I think. So that's pretty cool. I always, uh, oh, it's a kid robot. That's awesome. Um, and I believe it's a blind box. So I'm assuming it's gonna be uh, one of like the exclusive or something like that. Um, I'm hoping it's uh, Mega Man. Uh, obviously it's probably gonna be Mega Man. I don't know. Let's just jump right in. So and see we got what we this get. guy. I'm assuming it's a color variant of Mega Man. Um, if he has a different name, please let me know. Um, I haven't played the games in a long, long ass time. So um, I'm assuming there's more colorways you can get of the Mega Man. He's not even on the box. So I'm assuming it's the exclusive or whatever. I could be totally wrong, but whatever. It's a Mega Man Kid Robot little figure. Mystery Mini, or whatever you call it. Uh, really cool. I love the detail on this thing. It's, really, uh, it's got a little uh, shine to it. So, so it's pretty the next cool. item we have a Star Trek Next Generation. Hold on. Let me zoom into this. I don't know what it is. Uh, I'll unpackage it and All see right, what it is. So I got it right here. Uh, I'm assuming it's like a decal or something. Um, I'm not a big fan of Star Trek. Um, not much of a fan of it um especially the 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 next generation series i'm more a fan of the class classic series i know more of the characters from that one so i have no idea what this is i'm assuming it's like a memorial or something like that for all the characters or something but uh please let me know guys uh so for this uh it's a loop pin this is the little item it's the long live and prosper uh the vulcan sign that's awesome that is really cool. So the next item is a Lucre exclusive comic. Um, I think it's from 4001 AD. Um, I have no idea what series that is. Uh, I'm not a much of a comic book reader. I have no idea what that is. But it looks cool. The cover looks cool. So I'll give it that, that a little um, value, I guess, when I do my overall value at the end. So that's pretty cool. Um, I might actually read it. It looks pretty from the cover, it looks right, really so cool. So for the last item of the box, it's a Loot Create exclusive uh, Mini Masters Quantum Mechanics vehicle from Futurama. It's basically the Planet Planet Express ship. Um, and that's pretty cool. Uh, I love that they brought back me Quantum Mechanics. They did a, a really good job on the little um, stationary figures that they did with, um, what did they do? They did Deadpool. Um, Hulk, and then they did uh, the 1966 Batman, which was really cool. Um, I'm not much of a fan of Futurama. I'm more of a fan of like the, the actual creator because he did um, he did Simpsons too. So um, uh, I'll find I'll find somewhere to put this. This is pretty cool. The actual vehicle is itself is pr pretty much looks really cool. I'm not gonna take it out of the box, so um, I'll find somewhere to put this. I love that. It's a Loot Crate exclusive too. Okay, so the, for the last item of the box, which I love, I love the quality of these shirts. These shirts are amazing. Um, I believe I think it's the Rick and Morty shirt that I've I heard someone talk about. Um, I actually haven't had the chance to uh, watch the series yet. 
but I've heard so many good things. Let me just sprawl it out for you guys and I'll, I'll let you guys look with it. All right, so it's all sprawled out for you guys. Um, from, cause I, 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 I read the, um, with a spoiler little book uh, from the crate. This is basically um, what it looks like, a, a portal gun or something like that. Um, I guess all the things that go into the portal gun. Um, I love that it's very simplistic and it's not really, uh, you know, jumping right out at you and telling you what it's from and stuff like that. People have to guess. It's just got a little end tag right there, which is really cool. It goes well into the actual design of the shirt, which I really like. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the everything in the box. All right, guys. So this is all you get in this month's uh, loot crate. You get the uh, t-shirt. Uh, I'll probably give that probably about probably give that fifteen bucks. Uh, the Futurama Quantum Mechanics, uh, I guess Q figure, whatever they are gonna call it now. Um, it is a loot crate exclusive, so I'll give it a little more money. I'll probably get that give that fifteen bucks too. Um, the little decal thing, it is metal, so it is nice quality. You always get good quality with Loot Crate. Um, and it, they, I think they called it a decorative plaque or something like that. Um, I'll probably give this around $10. Um, just because it's nice quality, it is branded from Star Trek. Um, but I'm not a big fan of Star Trek, to be honest, in general. I'm more of a Star Wars fan, so I'll find a home for that. For the uh, little, uh, what is it, kid robot figure, um, you get, you always, um, I think everybody's getting this figure. Um, you weren't able to get the other figures in the set, which is kind of, um, I would have loved if there was more variety, but it's okay. Um, it goes really well with my other little figures that I have. Um, and then the pin, it is a rather larger pin than we usually get, so I'll probably give that around $7, so that's pretty good. And then the Valiant um, 4180 uh, comic book, uh, it is Lucre exclusive. Um, I have no idea um, in terms of the comic book series, in terms of you know, the characters, I have no idea what that's about, but you know, it intrigued me, so... Um, I'm going to give that around, I'll say that around $5, so that's not bad at all. So altogether, not a bad value for this month. Um, I'm glad I subscribed to get the t-shirt. Um, the t-shirt is really nice. Um, altogether value, I think I, it's probably close to $40, even a little more. So you're definitely getting double the amount you pay for with this month. Um. And you always get a good value with Loot Crate. Um, and for uh, rating, I'll probably give this around a 3.75 out of 5. Just because there are some, some of the fandoms I'm not really, really into. So that's why it gets a, lower, a little lower rating. But usually, the, the Loot Crate boxes, usually they're always a 4, 4.5 out of 5 with me. But just because the, the Star Trek stuff... I'm not really a fan of, so that's why it gets a lower lower rating. But all in all, it's a really, really nice box, and I wasn't really disappointed with anything. So really good, really good variety of stuff this month. Um, I have no idea what next month holds for Loot Crate. Um, I, I don't think they revealed a theme yet, so um, I'm in anticipating that. So uh, like always, guys, please like, subscribe, and everything like that, and I'll see you guys later.